Hey, what's up everyone? So in this video, I'll be showing you the best Android apps of this month. Do check out my best Android apps video for the previous month and also check out my best Android games of the month series linked below in the description box. And now let's get started with the video. So the first app on the list is custom quick settings. So this app allows Marshmallow users to add custom settings in the quick settings panel. And root is not required for this app as Marshmallow has got a new feature called System UI Tuner which allows users to tweak various system elements. So to use this app first, you need to first hold the system icon in the quick settings panel and after you hold the system icon for a while, it will spin and the system UI Tuner will be activated. Then you need to follow a few steps outlined in the app. It's just few easy steps and after it's done, you can add custom tiles in the quick settings panel you can choose the name of the tile choose its icon and you can choose what it does you can choose it to open a url or you can choose to open an app or toggle some settings so that's all about this app it's a neat feature to have in your marshmallow device the next app on the list is backdrop so it's a wallpaper app which will provide high resolution wallpapers for almost all screen sizes out there it will even provide wallpapers for 2k screens so as soon as you open this app you will find the explore section above here you will find the wallpaper of the day and below you will find some trending wallpapers just by looking at here you can know that this app is very different from other wallpaper applications on the leftmost side you will find categories like scenery geometric minimal pattern abstract typography and a lot more so if you like any wallpaper you can just click it and you'll find more detailed information about that wallpaper like its resolution and then you can easily download that wallpaper and set it as your wallpaper on the right you'll find a social tab where i guess you'll find wallpapers uploaded by users so that's all about this app just by browsing for a couple of minutes in this application you will find good wallpaper for your phone so just try this app the links below in the description box the next app on this list is one wake on notification so this app will turn the screen on for a couple of seconds after you receive a notification it won't unlock your device it will just turn the screen on and then turn the screen back off after a small amount of time so using this feature you can know what's your notification about without even touching a button and this app also knows when to trigger this feature so if your phone is in your pocket your screen will not turn on if you receive a notification you can even set the time where you want this feature to be enabled from the settings menu there might be times in the work where the phone is lying on the table where this feature can be very useful so you can choose the day and the time in that day where you want this feature to be enabled and you can even choose notification from which app will turn the screen on so only priority notification will go through so that's all about this app the next app on the list is easy home so this app is meant for recent galaxy devices this app can also work for other android device where the fingerprint sensor is embedded in the home button so with this app you can turn your click paste home button into a touch based home button so you can just touch on the home button and it will act as if you are just hard pressing the home button it's easy and a lot more convenient than hard pressing and in my opinion the experience is a lot better so the next app on the list is kwgt custom widget maker so it's a widget maker using which you can create custom widgets by using the tools provided in this app so in this app you can either create a widget or download one from the app itself there are a few widgets pre-installed in this app and you can download some more from the featured section here you can even import some widget from the sd card using this option so for each widget you can tweak it you can add small elements or remove some elements from the widget you can change the background color and a lot more using the tools provided by this app and as i said before using this app you can even create a new widget from the scratch so from here you can add all the elements that you want in your widget 
and and from here you will find the options using which you can edit your elements you can change their colors their size position you can even choose the touch action and a lot more the possibilities using these tools are endless you can create amazing widgets using the options here there are many apps in the play store that are based on the same idea like jupa widget in the beginning you might want to try this because there are some pre-installed designs that you can work with and the UI here is very easy to use. You might find some other applications extremely difficult if it's your first time using such applications. The next app on the list is Verve. So Verve is a new app which lets you to do a lot of things. So you can search for nearby places so that you can know what's good to visit and all of the places listed in this app will have reviews on them so that you can know which one is good and which one's not. Similarly, you can search for some places to eat, some coffee shops and a lot more and all of the places listed in this app will have reviews for them. Similarly, you can also search for upcoming nearby events. So all of the upcoming nearby events will be listed here with the timings and their location. So the user interface of this app is very good. You will love using this app because of how it looks and feels and for all of the search results this app provides you can save them and you can also buy tickets for some of the events right from this app. So that's a great feature this app provides and the location for each of the places is also provided by this app. So if you are feeling bored you might want to try this app because you might find something entertaining nearby. The next app on the list is knock-ons. So just as seen in LG devices, this app allows us to have that knock to lock and knock to unlock feature in any Android device. So if you double tap in any empty space, you can lock the device and similarly, you can unlock the device by double tapping it on the home screen. So to enable this feature, you just need to open this app and press that start button. Initially, you need to provide some permissions to this app and this app will direct you to the settings where you can enable those permissions. And there is a very small effect of this app in the battery life so unlike other apps that provided this feature, it won't make your device to go out of charge very fast. So that's all about this app. This app can be useful for tablet and tablet users. The next app on the list is Squid. So this app was formerly named Papyrus which was a great productivity app. So Squid is basically the same which allows you to take notes as you would take on a paper. So if you are a student or someone who needs to take notes frequently, this app will be very useful. So from this app here, you can create a new note, then you can name the note and then start writing with hand or by typing. You can even add shapes and images. So you can take a picture of the board and then crop it before adding in the note here. The page here can become very small so that you can add a lot of things here and adding a page is also very easy. You just need to press the button here and a page is added to your note. From the settings here, you can change the page style, you can change its size, you can change what type of page you want. And from here, you can export the page as a PDF or JPEG or a PNG file. So overall, I think it's a great app. It's one of the best app to take notes in a class. The next app on the list is Game Tuner. So this app is only meant for Samsung devices as this app is made by Samsung. So this app will let you control how the game will run in your device. So you can choose between various settings in which the game will run. So you can decrease the resolution or the FPS of the game. And from the advanced settings, you can have different settings for different games. So my Note 5 should be able to handle all of the games in the highest resolution possible. But for some older Samsung phones, you might want to decrease the resolution and the FPS to have smooth gaming experience. And you can also use this app to save battery in your phone. So you can decrease the resolution and it will help you to save battery. So I think it's a must have app for every Samsung device owner because this app gives you a lot more control over your device. So that's all about the best apps for this month. Do subscribe for more monthly gaming and app videos and also make some tech videos that you might like. So do check out my channel. And if you know of any other app worthy to be in such videos, do let me know in the comment section below. Until then, it's Himansu from Device Customizer. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.
Thank you.